The History of Operation Mana and Operation Chowhound One of the interesting and not well known operations of World War II took place over the Netherlands between April and May 1945, when British Lancaster and American B-17 bombers dropped food parcels instead of bombs for the starving Dutch population over the German-occupied Netherlands with the acquiescence of the German forces. Over the winter of 1944, the Dutch people suffered from a harsh winter and lack of food, leading to an estimated 20,000 civilian deaths. Prince Bernard of Netherlands appealed to the Allied Supreme Commander Dwight D. Eisenhower for help, but Eisenhower did not have the authority to negotiate with the Germans. Prince Bernard turned directly to Winston Churchill and President Roosevelt to ask for permission. There was a concern that any negotiations between the Western Allies and the Germans would raise Stalin's suspicion, fearing to be double-crossed. Because of this, a Russian representative had to be present at the negotiation. On April 23, 1945, the plan was authorized and an agreement was reached with Reich Commissar Arthur Zeiss Inquart and a team of German officers that the participating aircraft will not be fired upon on certain air corridors over the Netherlands. The Germans, in case of foul play, placed anti-aircraft guns around the drop sites so they can act quickly if the food drops would turn out to be paratroopers. They also took samples of the food rations to be sure the Allies don't drop sabotage equipment or weapons. The British operation was called Operation Mana, and the first Lancaster bomber to test the flight route took off on April 29, 1945, and despite that the ceasefire was only signed next day, delivered its cargo and returned successfully. Over the following weeks, the Lancasters flew 3,156 sorties in different size groups. The nervous air crews had to fly very low and slow for the safety of the parcels as the cargo did not have parachutes. They flew as low as 120-150 meters and do so over German guns, which honoring their part of the ceasefire stayed silent. Operation Chowhound on the American side started on 1st of May and the B-17s of 3rd Air Division flew 2,268 sorties, delivering around 4,000 tons of cargo. Only three aircraft were lost during the operations, two in a collision and one due to engine fire. No aircraft was lost to enemy fire, though bullet holes were found on some of them, probably from German units who weren't aware of the ceasefire. A follow-up on the airdrops was Operation Faust. On April 30, both sides decided that the air transport will not be enough. In this operation, 200 Allied trucks drove through the front lines to the then German held city of Renan on the 2nd of May, where Dutch truck drivers took over and drove them further. Since the war, there were numerous commemorations of the food drops in the Netherlands, celebrating the 45th and 50th anniversary of the operations, and the monument was raised in 2006 to commemorate Operation Mana. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and in the comments let me know if there's any interesting events or vehicles you'd like to see.